lets go of the arm bar and drops down with the lower part of the leg. He's trying to weaken Lawler even more. Once again, he drops hard on him. You can see him moving back and forth on the bicep. Oh, and Lawler, a quick move into a body scissors on Briscoe. Jerry Lawler, again, taking time for a breather as he holds Briscoe reversed on the body scissors. Jerry Lawler now with Jack Briscoe in the center of the ring. Lawler pounding away. Has Briscoe in real trouble for the first time in this bout. It's been a very even exchange throughout the first 10 minutes of it. Jack Briscoe kicks his way out of it. Lawler goes for that reverse face lock. Briscoe crashing his arms, trying to get away from challenger Jerry Lawler. Lawler once again holding tight. Jack Briscoe. Crashing finally gets up to his feet, but Lawler takes him back down. Lawler still holding on from behind, and referee Tommy Marlin says, Keep your hands out of your ha his hair. It's Jerry Lawler in a dominant position right at the moment. He continues to hold a Jack Briscoe. Sam Bass being told to sit down, and he does. Marlin over to check and remind Lawler that he has to have it on the chin. He can't drop it down on the throat. Frisco, once again, starts his move to try to work his way out. Takes that arm, and Lawler pulls him back down. He drop a beautiful move by Frisco. But Jack, after the long duration of that reverse face lock, falls forward on his face. Sam Bass trying to tell Jerry to get up, and brother Jerry Briscoe telling Jack, get to your feet. He got there momentarily. The referee is counting. It's a count of 10 for the wrestlers to be able to be on their feet and resume. Briscoe! Thunders a broad arm to Lawler's back, and Jerry catches another one right across the small of the back. Frisco, who is in serious trouble, being really cheered on by brother Jerry Frisco. Jerry Frisco felt the lash of that severe right hand of Lawler's, and Lawler defeated Jerry. Ooh, and Lawler down on the deck but his legs are draped over the rope, and the referee will ask, uh, ask Jack Frisco to back up. Lawler has a 10 count to be able to resume wrestling action. And here comes champion Jack Frisco. Lawler falls into the corner. Uh-oh, as he turned when the referee was talking to him, Lawler took that moment to kick him in the midsection. To the ropes. Ooh. Lawler unlaces him with the top part of that arm as he has so many of his previous opponents. One could be a new champion, too. No, sir. Jerry Lawler within one count of being the world's heavyweight champion, but Jack Briscoe hasn't retained that title without desire. Suplex. Briscoe in real trouble now. Lawler gets a count of one, count of two, and once again, Jack Frisco, everything left in him.
from somewhere he calls on it and kicks his way out of the pen by Jerry Lawler. Sam Bass hollering at his boy. Finish him, finish him. Mm, Lawler drops, goes for another cover. One. Frisco this time with a knee to Lawler's head. Breaks up the count at one and a half. Jack Frisco trying to get back to his feet. Lawler lifted high in the air, but Frisco without the strength to take him over. Falls himself, and the referee starts the count. Sam Bass could be it. Two, he's got his arm on him, but Lawler is able to move it off. Both of these wrestlers completely exhausted. 15-minute call, the 15-minute call. 45 minutes to wrestle. Jack Briscoe, neither one of them is considered to be in a shape to finish the other right at the moment. Briscoe went for the step over toe hole. Looked like he may have been going for a death lock. Lawler kicks him out of it. Straight up in the air, Briscoe drops Lawler down on Lawler's knee. He springs him. With the leg lever, Jack Briscoe springs it again. And the champion regaining his strength now. Steps it over. Lawler once again kicks his way out and down goes referee Tommy Marlin. Tommy Marlin flat on his back. Jack Briscoe with his brother hollering, get up, Jack, get up. Jerry Lawler in the center of the ring. Right. Nails Jack Briscoe with that vicious right hand. Goes for the cover, and here's referee Tommy Marlin. One, two, this could be it. Three, the new world heavyweight champion, Jerry Lawler. And Lawler, as the referee, found a chain that Lawler had. Jerry Briscoe, the champion's brother in the ring, pointed it out to the referee. The referee has reversed his decision. Lawler and Bass are now both attacking Sam Bass. Jerry Briscoe pulling his shirt off as Lawler and Bass come after him. There's Jack back on his feet, and the Briscoe boys are at it. Frisco kicking Sam Bass out of the ring. Jerry Lawler goes out. Here's the presentation. The referee has reversed it after finding a chain pointed out by Jerry Frisco, the winner and still the world's heavyweight champion is Jack Frisco. Haynes' title. Jerry Lawler, who had for a moment the title in his grasp. It was snatched away by the referee's discovery of a chain that apparently Lawler had used to tag Jack Briscoe. There's the official announcement. Jack Briscoe retains his world heavyweight title before 10,000 people in a tremendous championship match. This is Lance Russell from the Mid-South Coliseum.